Welcome back to RG Geek. Today we're going to be talking about the last night with Google Stadia and the Odin. Normally I don't have really any deadlines for videos, but well, considering Google Stadia is shutting down in 14 hours from the time of this recording, I have a deadline for this one. So let's get her done. So you won't see much post-production on this one. So I just want to get it out and then, well, enjoy the rest of the night gaming on Stadia as it's the last night I can play on it. I'll be playing on my TV, but I wanted to show, I actually bought the Odin to play Stadia on it. And um, it's been amazing for that, much better than Xbox Cloud Gaming. So I'll just show you a bit of how it runs. Well, there's the warning about the shutdown, which will be tonight, or um, in Berlin, it'll be 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. But this is uh, be shut down at midnight Pacific time. I'm just going to be a quick uh, tour of the how it works. See, I've got a few controllers back there I bought as well over time. So let's get in closer here. Oh, and uh, I believe that's the Wasabi and a Founder controller. And I have another controller in the States. As I didn't see the point in bringing it back because the service is dying. And this one is sealed in box. And I'm still debating whether I want to... Um, basically convert that one to Bluetooth or keep one in its Wi-Fi form because currently Google is allowing you to convert your controllers to Bluetooth, which is amazing. Um, and that means that you can uh, play them. Sorry, it's kind of like, it's still heartbreaking to me the service is shutting down. So this is rough. Anyway, you can laugh at me in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can convert your um, Wi-Fi controllers here to uh, Bluetooth, and that means they'll be able to run on uh, Windows, Mac, um, also Steam Deck, I heard works, um, Chrome OS, and Android wirelessly, which is a nice, a nice going away gift from Google to Stadiums. Very welcome indeed. So this doesn't just become e-waste. And I have a Founders controller I bought used on uh, eBay, which I quite like as well. But anyway, I'm going to show you this one, Odin, the other games. And this is funny, they just came out with this game called uh, Worm Game. If I can zoom in on that, you can see it better. Not going in well on the camera. But basically, that was the first game Sadie ever made for internal testing, and they decided to release to the public about, I think, three, four days ago. That's kind of funny. Uh, you can see my library here. Normally, I'd have a um, collection of about... Um, well, certainly over 100 games, I think 150 games, because I was a Stadia Pro member. And amusingly, I decided to unsubscribe. I said, oh, I'll unsubscribe for like two weeks, and then I'll subscribe again, because I'm playing with Ubisoft Plus, I'd rather play those games. And the only day I wasn't a Pro member was the day they shut down Stadia, thus I don't have Pro till the end. But right now, who cares? I have 14 hours left to play. Well, I'm not going to stay up all night, but anyway, that's the point. Um, and so your games and capture states are down here, um, which I can't make video captures anymore because there's a limit of 100 to non-pro members, so that's been fun as well. I'm not bitter at all, no. <laughs> so anyway, you can see my library for posterity's sake. There's a worm game to start. It's funny, that's always the first one now. Uh, Monopoly's really nice, so the Odin as well. PGA Tour, Charles Rising. Nice little collection of games. Cyberpunk, of course, the famous Cyberpunk launch on Stadia. All the games I spent the most time playing, um, The Crew 2. I don't see it right now. Most oh, there it is. The Crew 2. And then, unsurprising one that I didn't expect to like so much was Judgment, which is sort of like a, um, um, a gangster type, um, game set in Japan. And it's really nice. But, um... Yeah, uh, so if you go to the store now, you'll see there's no store because they're shutting down the service. And there's also Explore where you can see like um, social media stuff, Explore posts from friends and games. Okay, so there's that. And then you can like pair controllers here, uh, see your friends. Yeah, I don't want to show you my friends here, haha. <laughs> um, and then settings. And amazing, this works really well on the Odin, and there's buttons on the back. And they actually even supported Stadia, because I asked them to. Uh, the left button will be the Stadia button. Maybe I, could, I don't I think you have to be in a 
game for it to work. Yep. Oh, controller linked. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened there, but anyway. Um, the right button is then the screen capture. I think you can make it. Yeah, open a game and save a screen capture. So they actually made it so the screen capture will work for us. So I'm um, huge props to AYN for um, supporting Stadia. Because, yeah, it's an amazing Stadia handheld. And like I said, the quality is better than what I have on xCloud. So let's go down and see this. Um, yeah, of course I have to use that stick. Uh, let's just pick a game. Let's see all. Let's see what's a game that loads up fairly quickly. Um, into Trail Rising. There we go. Oh, that sounds like it's not very loud right now. I've just been always impressed by the um, how well this runs on the Odin. It's crystal clear, 1080p. It's so nice. And I can't even connect these controllers and they'll run on them. Um... Oh, it said the controller's linked. That means the, the internal, the connected controller was linked, right. Um, well, I can even, I can even connect these and the, it works fine. I mean, I don't need to show that to it. It's obvious that Stadia controllers will work with Stadia. So, yeah. unfortunately the internet in my apartment has been a bit unstable today, so we'll see if we get um, um, a decent feed out of this. So far it's looking good. So we get load times about like the PS4, I'd say, but those kind of load times, not really next-gen load times. I think they're still running um, HDDs, so not SSDs on their um, on the cloud. I just say a bit, a bit more power than say the PS4 Pro. I think the power is more like the Series S, but um, with the slow um, hard drives. And I think I picked the wrong game to, <laughs> to choose because of the loading time here. You can also fast forward a bit till the game actually starts. So I don't want to cut this because I just want to get the video up so people can um, see it before it shuts down. Come on, Stadia, load. But yeah, I'm pretty disappointed that basically I'm losing, well, I lost a library of over 100 games I have I could play anywhere in the world as long as I have a good internet connection. There we go, we're in, let's race. I'll pick my favorite track actually. Uh, lights, camera, action. It was already there. And look how smooth this is. It's great. It's all the way so I can reach this easier. I like these trials games. And hopefully it'll run smoothly. Because like I said, my internet's been a bit, a bit unstable today. There we go. And the analog triggers on the Odin are perfect for playing this. There we go. And see, it's really such a good experience, I don't even realize that I'm not playing a native hardware. This is the cloud. Ooh, that was a rough recovery there. There we go. I make the jump. Yes, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Ooh. <laughs> oh. One fault. Alright, no problem, let's keep going. Ooh. But you can just see it's it's plays amazingly. It's like you're playing I'd say it's like the Switch, but you have analog controls which you don't have on the Switch. So there you go. And if I hit this uh, button on the back, then I get the Stadia menu popping up over here. I can like look at my friends or controller options, etc. It's a wonderful experience that I'm losing tomorrow. 
so that sucks. And yeah, I know there's GeForce now, but I tried that and like it's just complicated and annoying to get into and I don't actually have a Steam library. My Steam library is like 12 games, so I think one of them works on GeForce now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And so you hear exiting out of a game, just say exit game. And boom, I'm back into my library. Um, well, for posterity's sake, I'll show you Worm Game, just real quick. But it's a, there'll be no way to play this starting tomorrow morning. And it's really funny because it's one of the few games on Stadia that actually has lag. <laughs> I feel like I have to push it a little bit before I turn. Catchy music though. <laughs> Yo, I <laughs> like there's all these options. It's crazy to this little like in-house dev game they made. Do arcade. I like arcades. Open spaces and start in three. And they even have like multiplayer modes and stuff. If I search for multiplayers, I mean other players, I might even find them tonight since it's, it's the last day Stadia's are gonna be around. But yeah, this is funny. This is what the how they say goodbye to us with worm game. It's cute. So, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'm kind of without words now. But hope to see you next time. I got some more RG35XX content coming for you. I'm going to show off a third party dock that uh, works great on the Odin. And I hope I will, unlike Stadia, see you soon again. Have a good one. Like, subscribe, and all that. Crap. Okay, bye.